Hey guys, Max here, and welcome back to Max FX Builds. Yes, I, I changed the name of the channel because I realized the main focus of this channel is just going to be my builds. So, today we have yet another LEGO Transformer, and this one here is Spanner. Spanner, S-P-A-N-N-E-R. It's how the English, it's the English word for a wrench. You know, one of, one of these things. But that doesn't matter. Anyway. Getting into the build right here, I don't want to ramble for too long because this build is going to be, this video is going to be long because Spanner is my first ever official triple changer. So yes, he has two vehicle modes and one robot mode and uh, it, it overcomplicated his transformation so much that he's kind of just not fun to transform. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we'll go into, after this mode, we'll go into his second alt mode and then we'll go into his robot mode. So, in this mode, he's supposed to be a Land Rover Defender that's had the back of an ambulance put on it. I don't know. I just like the idea of something like that happening. So, he's just like this big old off-road capable ambulance here. And, of course, he rolls like most of my figures do because I love it when they roll. But, yes. Yeah, so, getting into some comparisons. Here he is with Heat Bane. You know. There you go. Much shorter than Heat Bane. Which probably isn't accurate, but yeah. Here he is with Buster. With the Hot Wheels car. With the Power Core drone. And of course, with the minifigure. So, that's pretty much it for that. Um, in terms of accessories, he has this little wrench piece. You know, just a simple Lego wrench element, you know, because it's, it's kind of a play on words. And then he also has this little gun. None of these store in the alt modes, unfortunately, just due, just due to, like, you know, clearance issues. They can't really store anywhere. So... Let's just take a quick look around the vehicle now that we've gotten all the, you know, tacky stuff out of the way. So, right the front, looks pretty nice. It's got the light bars, it's got the headlights, the turn signals, and then just some more fender. You got this nice little grill detail. Very similar likes to Double Tread because um, the entire back of the robot was like already stressing me out. So I was like, I just need to put a tried and, tried and true leg design on it. And it fits him quite well. On the side, side silhouette looks pretty nice. I kind of wish it was like one more stud longer so it could hide up some of the nasty stuff back here. And when I turn it around to the back, yeah, you can see exactly why I'd want an extra stud to hide up all the nasty stuff. Because, uh, yeah, there's there's no back panel. You know, this makes me think of one uh, power core combiner torso figure that also turned into an ambulance or a fire truck, whichever paint option you got. You know, that, that kind of makes me remember that figure. But yes, so, he does have the wheels that are more tightly packed to the frame compared to, you know, the, the size of the vehicle. And that's as accurate to how ambulances actually are. Because ambulance boxes are just put on, like, Ford truck chassis. And, uh, yeah, so. It's, it's pretty accurate. It does have, like, you know, the flared box on the side. But yes, that's enough about the vehicle mode. I think it's finally time to transform into the next alt mode. So to do this, we're going to first raise the camera up just a tiny bit so I have room to operate and we will get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take the ambulance box and not break it. I always do that. This, this hinge here just doesn't want to move. But this hinge here moves down and then you take this um, top section and it just flattens out just like that the same thing on this side and now you have the flying ambulance and all that mess can now be revealed in here so yeah this this is what it looks like inside anyways next we're going to come down here take the rear axle it's on some droid arms and it's just gonna fold up like that. And then this piece here is just going to collapse in. 
for now. And then we're going to take the front of the truck and it's just going to fold down a bit. Just like that, just to get out of the way. And then after that, we can fold the wings all the way down so they're out of the way. And now we have uh, this. Yes, this. Now we can start working on these sections. These are the robot mode arms, but they're also like the cockpits of the jet. So, um, we can fold this piece out here a bit and then rotate this around on some stud friction. Straighten it out, fold it down, and then Just sort of, you gotta bring it back up. It's it's a lot of rotating and sometimes I even forget, but you gotta rotate it on this clip right here. Bring it back up, rotate it around again, and then bring it down. Yep. Just like that. And then just straighten everything out till it looks nice. And that's one cockpit. So his jet mode has two cockpits. It's kind of weird, but it's the way it worked. After that, the second arm is easier because you don't have to work around the first one. So that just comes out. And then you just got to rotate around the little gold clips here, the Among Us clips, and then just fold this section down. And then you're left with these two cockpits here. I would have loved to put like you know a filler piece here but unfortunately due to the way he transforms into his truck mode and his robot mode uh, it had to be like this anyways next we'll fold the wings back up we'll take this section here push it up and then we'll take the wheels and they'll just sort of tuck up right under the cockpit here sort of Hold it in place and then we'll fold the head. Yeah, that's the head. Just fold it kind of right back down like that. And then, uh, yeah, now you just sort of have the arms exploded out. <laughs> but um, to take care of this, the first thing you're going to have to do is just unfold the cabin. Yeah, this clip always pops off. But unfold this. So that's like that. Like I said, very similar to Double Tread's legs. And then. It just splits these fold up become sort of like VTOL props and then these just fold around to become the tail fins after that you just rotate the little sirens here and they slide back the same on this side And then just straighten everything out to your liking. Just straighten out this wing. Just make sure nothing's falling apart. And there you have Spanner in his jet mode. <laughs> so uh, like I said, this is my first attempt at a triple changer. So it's probably not going to be the best, but I mean, it looks like a Cybertronian jet. That's what I was sort of going for. I wanted my story for him is that he wanted to keep one of his Cybertronian mode, but he also is being stationed on Earth, so he needed an Earth mode. So he he, he modified himself into a triple changer. I know that goes against like you know the whole Transformers lore. I don't care. So let's take a look around this thing. So. It's got just the back wheel is just un hanging out here, you know, so it sort of is angled up when it's sitting still. You can do whatever you want with them. Like, heck, you can move them like this, and now you can sort of roll. Not really. So let's just push that back in. But, um, so around the front, he has two cockpits. You can sort of see his head sticking out there, but it doesn't matter. You got some, like, air intakes here, I guess you could say. And the nose is just kind of bad, but I like how like you know the, all the head joints just sort of come together and make like a, a bit of a fuselage. 
if that's the word. I don't know anything about airplanes, so. The wings, they look pretty good, to me at least. And then you have the VTOL props, which I like. I like the idea of him being a VTOL jet. So these can still spin, like fans. And you just have sort of like, you know, the double tail fins with the little boosters sticking out behind them. So it's got some, you know, rear thrust to actually go forward. Now in terms of comparisons, I don't really do flying vehicles. I do have one. So this is going to be a sneak peek for a future build. Here is a helicopter. Only other, only other flying vehicle I've made. And I'm not going to show you anything about it. But that's it with a helicopter. Here it is with Heatbane again. And yeah, these are completely out of scale now. I can't even get the whole thing in frame because the spanner is just like sort of exploded. Here it is with Buster again. Hot Wheels car. Power core drone. And of course a minifigure. Yep, uh, don't care about comparison to this mode because he doesn't scale with anything. M may he doesn't even scale with like my smaller scale, like crankshaft. Not even close. Anyways, um, enough with the shrapnel mode, that's what it is. It's just the shrapnel mode. <laughs> but hey, it's my first attempt at a triple changer, so. I guess go easy on me. But, um, so now let's get him into his robot mode. So racing the camera back up. Lower it a little bit. Raising the camera back up. We can just fold the legs down around. They're on some ball joints, so. Yep. Don't break. Breaking is not allowed. He's just breaking all over the place now, because I said that. Yep, his uh, grill piece here just fell off. Yep. Yep, this little bugger. Yep. I can't, apparently I can't hold things today. But, um, almost there. We just gotta press the feet down without, you know, snapping them off. And there we go. Now he's a standing jet. And he's quite tall right now. So we'll just bring the camera up a little bit. And we're going to rotate him around. Fold the wings flat against the rear wheel again. We're going to do some work on the arms. So just got to bring that back and down. Just do it sort of like that. just like that for both arms. Refold these back out. Take the rear wheels here and they should just sort of like thread through. While simultaneously you've got to take the arms and thread them up like this. And then you just move the head out of the way, collapse the wheels back here, and now you take the side sections of the wings they fold in on both sides and then they just collapse around the wheels and hide them and then yeah just adjust this accordingly however whatever makes it happy so yes there we go now the wheels are all hidden up back here and he has a big backpack <laughs> It doesn't matter. It makes me happy. Anyways, now we just bring out these arms here and they fold down. Yep, and his leg came off. Yeah, his his knees just like to, you know, fall off. It's only one stud. Yep. And there goes the other one. It's bound to happen. Anyways, after that, we have just a few more steps to go. We've got to rotate the hands out. Now 
that's that. And then we just bring up the head, wiggle it out a little bit on this peg, and then rotate it. Set everything to your liking. Lower the camera a little bit. And there we have Spanner in his robot mode. And I definitely think that, you know, his ambulance mode and his robot mode are the best modes. The jet mode is just like the shrapnel mode. You know what I'm talking about if you're a Transformers fan. But I really, I really do think that it's a good first attempt at a triple changer. And I'll probably do some more in the future. Just I had fun building this guy a little bit. Uh, he, he was a bit of a pain. <laughs> but that's alright. I don't care. He's awesome. So taking a quick look around, he does have like, you know, the anti-stud chest like Double Tread did. But that's fine. He's got the same legs as Double Tread, just a little bit different in the way they were built. Um, his arms have the little jet cockpits on them. And they're on these little gold clips. I think it looks nice. It breaks up the white. Coming around to the side. Yeah, he's got a pretty big backpack. But the way I see it, my story for him is he's also a field medic. So he's got to carry a lot of stuff with him, so the big backpack makes sense. And you can throw, like, his accessories in here, like, you know, not, they don't tab in or anything, but, like, you know, you, you can just sort of throw stuff in there. Because, you know, there is empty space in there now that there's not his entire arm assembly in there. Yeah, sure, that works. <laughs> Anyways, coming around to the back, back's pretty clean. Like, I mean, yeah, the backpack's huge, but... He has large enough feet that he can counteract it. And then the other side is just the same as the first. So, getting those out of there. And moving him back up. We can give him his accessories now. So we can give him his little working wrench. So he can work on his buds. And we can give him his gun. So he can fend off enemies in the field. Because, like I said, he's a field medic. So, going over some posability, the head can look up, can look down, can look left and right, so full head mobility on a universal joint, I love that. I love having mobility in the heads on like, you know, every other transformer I build. It's, it's quite handy for posing, so. Um, his legs are on, well here, let me move the arm out of the way. His legs are on ball joints, so they can go, you can get a little bit of in and out action, but like they collide with each other, so watch out. They can go back this far, forward this far, and um, he's got a full, like, you know, 180 knee articulation just due to transformation. So, that's that. Um, nothing at the ankle. To be honest, I probably could have added, like, some ankle tilt. That would have been cool. But, uh, no. No, I'm not going to. In terms of arm, as you can see, the arm is already up like this. Um, the arm can rotate around full 360. It's also got this joint here for transformation. I'm not sure why you'd want to use it though. It sort of breaks up the chest. He also has the in and out motion that I so love, like the butterfly joints. He's got an elbow. He's got some wrist pivot in two places right here and then some stud friction here. And yeah, he's pretty articulate, especially for like, you know, being a triple changer. You'd think, and being mad at a Lego. So you'd probably think that he'd be a bit more compromised than he is. But surprisingly, he's a pretty good figure. So, bringing in some comparisons, here he is with Double Tread, because, you know, they share a couple of details. Spanners, they're, they're pretty much around the same height, except Spanner just has a better head and some better arms. I, I don't hate on Double Tread, though. His arms are awesome for what they do. Um, yes, they do have the same legs. Double Treads are just a bit more tiled off and refined. I just wanted to, I just didn't want to add anything on his knees. So, yep. That's that. Here it is with Heatbane again in her car mode, just so you can see how much, like, you know, the model's grown. Here it is with Buster. With the Hot Wheels car. With Power Core drone. And, of course, with a minifigure. And who can forget, who can forget, who can forget, not me. Here he is, next to Charles. Charles is great. Anyways, 
moving Charles out of the way. That's pretty much going to wrap up the video. I'm not going to do any special pose with him because that's just wasting your time at this point. So yeah, that's basically the video. I hope you really enjoyed the, this concept of a triple changer being built at this scale. And if you like it, I'll, I'll try and build more. <laughs> so if you do like what you see, please be sure to leave a like, comment what you want to see me build next. And if you really would are feeling charitable today, you know, if you really want to, feel free to click subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm on my way to 100 subs really fast, and that's just impressive. My first channel took, like, you know, two years to get to 100 subs. Uh, I've been posting videos on this channel for two months, and um, I'm already almost at 100. So I can't tell you how thankful I am. Anyways, guys, that's enough of me rambling. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Hopefully. See you guys. Bye-bye.